So I'm here with uh, Dr. Greta today, and today we're going to be talking about uh, penile implants. So these are implants that are used when a man is impotent and he cannot sustain or gain an erection. So uh, Dr. Greta, my understanding is there are two types of penile implants. The first one is a, a malleable, or sometimes called a bendy implant, mm -hmm. and the second is uh, an inflatable implant. Can you first tell me, what is the advantage of the malleable or the bendy implant? When would a man perhaps choose that type of implant over the, over the inflatable? It depends on the person, uh, because uh, the result is almost the same. Just the, the technique to so-called turning it on mm. uh, is different. So how does it work with the malleable? How do you get, the, as I understand just, with, the, uh, with the malleable, mm. effectively you always have an erection uh, <laughs> and uh, the, 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 you have to bend up the penis typically. Yes. How, how does that work? You just, that's right, you just bend it okay. and you make it um, mm, you make it uh, not flaccid looking, but in normal erected state. Okay. So presumably with a, a malleable implant then, uh, if you're not engaged in sexual activity, the implant has to be bent down. It, would you see that as a disadvantage of that particular implant, that it always appears somewhat erect? And there is another thing. You see, then it's uh, the first type you mentioned. Uh, the penis is like erected all the time despite the angle. It's harder. Mm -hmm. So it's not so natural a feeling. Okay. And regarding the inflatable implants, it's much more natural. So the, so the inflatable implant is much more natural in yes, the flaccid it state? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, I understand from our urologist that the malleable implant, the bendy implant, if you will, mm. might be suitable for men who are not particularly dexterous. If they want something very simple yes. to bend up and bend down and they exactly. don't want to be mm -hmm. using the inflatable, which we'll talk about in a moment, and finding that device that you yes. have to press, it's an easier option. Would you agree with that? It is. It is. I, I would even say maybe it's better for older men, which wouldn't like to play with all those devices. Uh -huh. They would like to have a straightforward result and, and that's it. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about the inflatable implants. Mm. At, at Morgate uh, Andrology, we offer two particular types of penile implant. One is the Coloplast Titan, which is very well known. And the other is the AMS 700. Both of these implants are, are widely known and used, uh, used across the world. Now, with the inflatable implants, Dr. Greta, my understanding is it, it not only gives the most natural uh, looking penis in the flaccid state, mm -hmm. but that uh, this particular device um, is relatively easier to use. Can you tell us how actually you get the erection with this particular mm. device? What do you have to do? You need just to push a button in the scrotum and that's it. Okay, yeah. so when you push this button in the scrotum, can you feel it? Is it easy to locate this particular yes, device to, to inflate? Yes, you feel it under the skin. And you keep pressing until the erection appears. And how is it that you get the erection? What is the mechanism? What is happening when you push this, this device? It's usually filled with a liquid inside. And uh, when you push the button, uh, it becomes inflated. I see. Regardless. So this fluid travels from the reservoir yes. into the two chambers in the penis, and this stimulates the erection. That's right. OK. And then when the sexual activity is finished, how do you get the erection down again? Because obviously you're not bending it down, as with mm. the malleable. What do you do? It's the same way as you did the first thing, <laughs> you okay. just push the button. So you push the button on the valve, and presumably this sends the fluid out of the two chambers back exactly. into the reservoir. Yeah. It's incredible, isn't it, really? It incredible is. It's uh, so simple procedure. and so genuine. And the operation, I gather, is done under general anaesthetic um, uh, by a urologist. 
and typically you're in the hospital just mm. for one night. So the recovery seems, and the recovery I gather is, is reasonably quick. It is. Okay.